Once you've opened up your project in Sphere XG, you'll see that we have a sheet that's presented to us or a floor plan or a layout. This is what's uploaded at the beginning of your project and we use this as a guide to overlay our 360 image capture with our point clouds and our models. So first up, when we've uploaded the sheet, you can see the floor plan of the building we're working on and these little waypoints, these markers are waypoints telling us that we have a 360 image that has been captured in that particular location. So I'm just going to click one of these, you can see the preview, and when I click this, it jumps me into that 360 photo capture position. Now just a few things around the interface I want to touch on. If you want to share your project, you'll find the share button on the top right corner of your window. Just click that to create a link that you can then share to your customers or project participants. Next to that, you'll find the cloud activity button. If you're currently uploading a point cloud or a model, this is where you go to see the status. It'll show you the progress on the upload and it'll also show you the progress on any processing that needs to be done in the background. When you look at the export tab, this is going to show you the process of any point clouds that you might be currently exporting from Sphere to your desktop. Here's where you find our feedback button. This is really important for us. Please take the time to fill this out with any suggestions, any ideas that you might have, because this information is valuable to our developers and this is what we're going to be using to drive the product. And of course, this is where you would log out. When you're done with your project, you can log out from this location right here. Notice that right now on the lower left, you're seeing the blue icon showing us that we're in 2D overview mode. This is showing us just the sheet and the waypoints that were uploaded from Holobuilder. If you want to bring in 3D data to this, so a point cloud or a model, this is where you're going to do it. If you click the button, you can upload the point cloud from your computer with a maximum file size of 20 gigabytes. So to do this, you just simply go out to your desktop and find the point cloud that you want to upload. And you can see here that the options are an LAZ, an E57, or a CPE. You can also upload your 3D models. The time required to upload and process the model will be impacted by the size of the model. So you can check on the um, recommended 3D model file sizes here. This is going to tell you what to expect performance-wise based on the size of a Navisworks file and a Revit file. When you're ready to upload, you can just take whatever files you like and you can see here we do an NWD, NWC, a Revit file, IFC, DWG, DXF and an FBX.